Hello everyone. How's it? How's it? We are on our way to Hollywood Studios. Welcome back to another vlog. It's gonna be another bumper one. We're taking you along for an evening at Hollywood Studios and a day at Epcot tomorrow. Two for the price of well none because YouTube's free, isn't it? <laughs> true, true. <laughs> so we're on our way to Hollywood Studios. We've actually had a bit of a rest day today. It's been so nice, hasn't it? It's been so nice. We chilled. We actually went to Super Target this morning got some gifts for family that they've been requesting, got some more snacks and drinks. Then we walked around the resort, we took some photos. <laughs> In just a few moments, we will be arriving at Disney's Caribbean oh, Beach, Beach Resort. Where we change. All passengers must disembark We're or going. transfer at this station. So we walked around the resort, we had lunch. We had no alarm. No alarm. Nice. We ate a big pizza. <laughs> we had a nap. Watch some storage wars. We just chilled. And have you ever seen storage wars before? No. Oh, it's a classic. It was good. It was so good. And then we watched the semi final of the football design, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. It so. was just, it was our reset morning, wasn't it? Yeah. I mean, we've done this type of holiday before enough to know we can't smash the parks out every day. No. Otherwise, we'll have burnout. So. Yeah, so we just, this one in there. We did, it was nice. So that's why you're getting two days because we are just doing a late afternoon and into the evening at Hollywood Studios. We want to do a bit more of Toy Story Land. We haven't done Slinky Dog Dash, so we're going to be going to do that and then see Fantasmic. Please remain seated. This is my little outfit. I've got a little skirt for Monkey, little Primark tee, Adidas trainers, little lounge fly, Christmassy one, and Christmas ears. Stay hydrated, friends. We got a new bottle at Target today, didn't we? This black one. <laughs> It keeps your water colder for longer, so we've got that. The sun is just setting, and I think there might be a spot of rain coming. We actually haven't had any rain this whole trip. Nine days in, not a spot of rain. And we're meant to get a little drizzle for 30 minutes, so we have come prepared, but we'll see. Right now it's okay, it's just a bit breezy. Oh, look at this weather. Let's hope that it um, passes before Phantasmic. It's quite moody, isn't it? It is a bit. It's very different to what we're used to the last nine days. I'm not mad at it because it's kind of yeah, cool. Like, it's it quite we nice. Can well. We can. We can wear our spirit jerseys. I honestly think Hollywood Studios might be one of my favourites in terms of the Christmas decorations. They've done an amazing job. Um, it looks so pretty everywhere. That is such a lovely piece of art. I love that. There's a lot of these around this time of year. These sort of light up necklaces and this is all cheese with Remy on the bottom, look. So cute. So we bought this t-shirt for Benji. I think you are going to wear that tomorrow, right? Maybe? Yeah. We're still looking for one to match for me. But I haven't seen these. This is new. That one's new. I like that. There's some really nice tees. Almost makes me think like, don't pack as much because you'll end up buying one or two. Because look, there's so many. Look, have a wally. Jolly holiday, oh. That is cute. I feel like they've got a lot of this sort of stuff now. This pop-up bun. They're getting bun. better at men's merch, aren't they? Men's merch has definitely been upped this time. Yeah, they would be such cute pyjamas. Yeah. Love them. I have not seen this one before. It's loads of different hats. How cute is that? The detail on that is so nice. I just don't love the colour. But look, there's even like a birthday one. So sweet, love it. That's nice, yeah. Simple but nice. Grey, can't wear grey. Sweaty pitties. <laughs> Let me know if you love pins as much as me because Benj and I love finding all the different ones and they change regularly and there's just so many. I still really love, let me show you this pew pew one. I think this is so fun. <laughs> Yeah, you gotta say it when you do it. <laughs> I'm just stopping at Joffrey's to get a chai, no, not a chai latte. I'm gonna get a peppermint mocha latte. One of their Christmas ones, it's on that little sign. So Toy Story Land at night is super underrated. It's so pretty and all the lights look so good. I've got my hot peppermint latte with oat milk from Joffrey's, so I'm happy about that. And we're just strolling around. Look at the decorations on this. So good. Really? You ready? Oh, light year. Space Ranger. Space Ranger. On the back it says Space Ranger. We bought this in Disneyland. Howdy. Paris? You oh, Cali, California. Toys. Hi. I'm Sheriff Woody. Yeah, those lights are always like that. Yeah. yeah. Although his ears, they're reindeer ears, they're, oh, yeah. they're added. 
you have to look for the details. It stopped raining, but actually it's cleared a lot of the crowd out, so that's okay. Oh, here comes Slinky Dog. Oh, it's got jingle bells on it. It's time to do Slinky Dog Dash. Oh, I love that bit when it pulls back. Parts and pieces, hands, arms, feet, legs, springs, and paws inside the vehicle. And keep an eye on your little toys. I actually love the theming inside here as much as I love the ride. Like all the different games and toys and details. So good. Yay! The theming is so good, isn't it? It's so good. This is such a good coaster. Like it's good for the whole family, you know? Oh, it's so pretty! Oh, it's the It was really good. Look at these little signs that look like hand painted. I love it. That was so fun in the dark. Really Highly fun. recommend. There's loads of lights in the track as well. Yeah, I didn't know that. There are two showings for Fantastic right now, half seven and nine o'clock. I don't think it will stay like that because usually it's just one, but the demand is just really high right now because it's just reopened. So there's some new bits in it that we haven't seen yet. You know? A few new characters, a few things. Uh, it's slightly updated, but yeah, it's one of those evening shows that you have to see. Like, it's a great show. Yeah. Look at the lights. I can't even imagine how many little lights are in there. Thousands and thousands. Thousands. Everything just looks so much prettier. Yeah. We've allocated 45 minutes. We're hoping that that is enough time. Oh, that looks so good. Oh, this is so exciting. I hope it's not too crowded and we get an okay seat. It has stopped raining though, so that's good. It should all go ahead as planned. So it is 6.55. It took a few minutes just to walk up here, but still loads of seats. Okay, this is where we're sat. Pretty good seats, guys. It's all right, it's all right. I will be, don't you cry. We love this song. This bump between us can't be broken. I will be here, don't you cry. Yes, you'll be in my heart. From this day on, now and forevermore. This is what it's looking like now, filling up. Wow, very grateful we packed our spirit jerseys. It's a little chilly now. I love this soundtrack, it's mostly the Jonas Brothers, it's so good.
That was so good. So good. Those new additions with the characters and like there was just so many extra bits they've added in. It's just really good. Makes it flow better. And Moana, Moana has a moment again. She had a moment in the fireworks. She has a moment in that. She's my favorite. So I'm very happy about that. Yeah, it was brilliant. My really good show. Was really fun as well, wasn't the magic it? bands were so good. They were glowing. I was trying to show how they were looking, but um, hopefully you could get a gist. I yeah. love when the three pontoons come out and Beauty and the Beast, Snow White, and Ariel, Ariel yeah. doing their song and dancing. Yeah, it was good. It was really good. It's a classic. It's an iconic Disney show, and it's well loved for a reason. Yeah. Now we're going to navigate trying to get the Skyliner back. Um, we were tempted to do some more rises. The wait times are low during the second Fantasmic. We've got a breakfast reservation at like half seven tomorrow, haven't we? So seven fifty-five. We need to leave at like seven-ish. Yeah. So, yeah. So I will end this bit here, but we'll see you again in the morning for topping those tests. Yeah. Good morning, everyone. It's nice and early, quarter past seven, and we have a reservation at Topolino's Terrace. So we're heading there for 7.55. So we've accounted for about 30 minutes to take the Skyliner over to the Riviera Resort. We also have a reservation at Space 220 Lounge in Epcot today. So quite heavy on the old food, but uh, not complaining about that. Um, although I'm not very hungry, we've kind of been skipping breakfast. I think with American portions, we're just not ready, we're not there for three courses, are we? Not no. Three, courses, three, um, three meals. So I'm not sure if this is my brightest idea, but we've heard it's a really great meal and it's our only character one we're doing. We've arrived. Isn't it so pretty? So nice. Have we shown everyone the newest member of the family yet? I don't know, they probably spotted it yesterday. Spotted. Spot. Look at that, and the rhino is horrendous, isn't it? It's one of the worst ones. It's, it's proper right like- Right at the front and middle of your face. Worst time you can ever have one. <laughs> this is my little outfit today. Well, it's actually just my outfit for breakfast because I'm not wearing this in the parks. It's a green dress from Hobbs. Got my little coach bag. Oh, your t-shirt's cute. Oh yeah, move me out the way. <laughs> yeah, it's really cute. We bought it here, didn't we? We can't find the matching one for you though. I know, I don't have my size. All right, here we are, top of the Lovely views, look at that. What a lovely restaurant. My gosh, it's so nice. They're just getting our table ready, but we have just been given the menus. We're waiting in this little lounge area. Drinks and then the entree, so we need to pick what we want. And then they bring out lots of bits as well, I think. We've literally just sat down, and Daisy, Mickey, and Minnie are all out, so we'll see them in a moment. So cute! <laughs> oh, and Donald's there. Oh, yeah. Oh, so cute! I also have to show you our view, because we're sat by the window. And oh my gosh, look at the Riviera. You can see the Tower of Terror just down there. What are you going to go for, Benj? I don't know. I like the sound of the two eggs any style. Okay, yeah. Potatoes, bacon, ham, sausage. Okay. I don't know what I want. Daisy! Morning, Daisy. Good mo oh, wow. Oh, you're a ballerina. Wowee. Nice to see you. <laughs> you okay? I love it, guys. Oh, that's so cute. Should we take a selfie too? Yeah. Ready? One down, three to go. <laughs> the pressure when they're right there. Hi! Good to see you. Look at you already for our class. Are you the best in the class? Because Donald will say he's number one, right? <laughs> Classic. Typical. Typical Donald, eh? <laughs> Very nice, guys. That's great. Thank you, Mickey. Oh. I'm sorry, but is that not the cutest Mickey ever? Also, because we're here early, there's not like the tables aren't full. So look, we've got loads of time to interact, which is quite nice. It's definitely better than that Mickey meet we did in the town square. <laughs> anyway, she's bought us out this little paint pot. How adorable is this? With some pastries. I kind of feel like I'd want this last, but they bought it out first. And look at this little palette knife. Oh, that's sweet. Isn't that nice? So I've just been eating the like apple crumble cake and it's really nice. Mmm. It's really fluffy, but not too sweet. 
like really lovely and I'm obsessed with the little paint box bucket thing. Oh, so cute. But yeah, the food's already here, which is very fast. So who are we missing? Mini. Donald and Dayton. Donald, 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 Donald and Mini. So Benji's got the scrambled egg and sausage and potato, which looks amazing, mm. with a smaller side of the French toast. And I have got the smoked salmon bagel, which has come deconstructed. I also got some fruit on the side. So there we go. That's our breakfast. Hi, Mini. Nice to see you. So beautiful. Thank you so much. You've got your ears. Oh yes, you're my favourite. <laughs> Donald and Mickey were arguing over who was number one. We all know Here you are. You notice the water dances like music. And so do we. Should we get someone to take one of us? Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Nice to see you. <laughs> we heard that you are the number one duck. You are the number one of it all, are you? Yes. <laughs> Better than Mickey? <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. I'll take one of you, man. He's doing number one. <laughs> nice to see you, Donald. Have a great day. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh, it's so gorgeous. Nice pools as well. Really nice. Look how nice this little outside area is as well. Imagine this at night with all the lights on. It's so pretty, isn't it? Should we give a little review of the breakfast? I think that's the best character meal we've done, actually. Yeah. Breakfast was good, the food was nice. It was $45 per person, so you're definitely paying for the character experience. But it was nice food. There was lots of food without it being f felt like you were forced to just keep on eating. Do yeah, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. You got a, a main main breakfast, then like a side of another entree. Yeah. I had the mini apple. muffin and the apple yeah. mumble thingy. I had the croissant. Yeah, it was croissant. nice. It was really, really good. Also, the quality of the food. I, yeah. We talked about this last night, but we noticed, especially since Yak and Yeti with the honey chicken, if you watched that vlog, whereas that quality of just everything, the fruit, the salmon, the bread, like it all felt good. My sausage was nice. Yeah, it looked good. The eggs were well made. And the um, character interactions were nice. And I will say, I think the earlier reservation, yeah. the better, because you get a much quieter. We actually had them all once and then two of the characters again. So having them again gave us that second chance to get just a few more photos. So you get a bit more confident the second time round. Once yeah. you see what the photos look like, then you can do it again. We did portrait mode, which worked really well because you can blur the background of people. And we took, there's a family sat behind us with a, a, pretty much a newborn and uh, like a two or three year old. Yeah. We took a few photos for them as well because yeah. they were struggling of like swapping parents. Normally so. they have um, like a character attendant, but they didn't have anyone. They, yeah. The characters sort of roamed a bit. Um, but this is stunning out here. What a lovely way to start yeah. the day. We've got a big, busy day. We're at Space 220 for lunch as well. We'll probably have, we're in the lounge, so we'll probably have something light because that filled me right up. But now we're going to make our way back to the resort. We were going to do a whole park day, and I know it sounds silly to just bop around, but the skyline is so easy. We're going to go back to the resort. I'm going to get changed. We'll have another little lie down probably. Yeah. And prep us for the day ahead. Guess what I've just spotted? Is it French bulls? It's not. It's not a short map bowls that I play, but we'll give it a jolly good go. If anyone doesn't there. know, I've been playing bowls with my grandparents for the last six months. And I love it. Every Friday he plays. Friday. Yeah. <laughs> I want all of the plush. Look at them in the outfits that they met us in. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. I just don't need more. But please appreciate how cute they are. We have been chilling in the room. I've had an outfit change. My dress this morning was just for breakfast and photos, but I'm in a comfy Marks and Spencer t-shirt dress, I guess, with some pink ears. And this bag I actually bought in Epcot a few years ago. So I'm all ready for our final Epcot day. And we've got some fun planned because we are doing Guardians again. I bought a Lightning Lane um, at seven o'clock this morning. We're gonna try and do the cookie stroll. Yes. Is it a cookie stroll or is that just what it's called yeah. in Magic Kingdom? Cookie stroll, I think it's called in Epcot, cool. yeah. Okay, okay. 
for festival of the holidays and then harmonious tonight yes and we're also doing space 220 lounge so space 220 is a brand new restaurant it is really popular i haven't seen any spoilers or watched any vlogs so it will be new for us both but what i was told is that the restaurant is quite pricey and the portions are really big so you could share them but there was also the option to do the lounge and some of my friends told me just to go for the lounge so you get the experience have a bite to eat most lounges that are off of restaurants in disney you don't have to book like nomad lounge in animal kingdom has got a wait list i think but this one you do book 60 days in advance so you get the choice of either booking the main restaurant or the lounge so that's what we're doing the reservations at 12 55 it's currently 12 o'clock now and we want to squeeze in guardians let's see if we can get to epcot do guardians and get to the restaurant all within 55 minutes <laughs> i love that security is just a scanner now they don't go through all your individual bags it's so clever the technology so this is a win from me <laughs> thank you and at the time of recording they're still running a park pass reservation system so we haven't done any park hopping this trip not at all no we've not bothered we've just decided whatever yeah whatever part we have is the part we have right first things first we're at guardians guardians of the galaxy cosmic rewind one of the best rides oh, i said this in our last Epcot vlog that? but just a recap you can virtual queue at 7 a.m and 1 p.m for free or you can pay for your lightning lanes but at 1 p.m you have to be in the park correct and at 7 a.m anyone can book you don't have to be a resort guest or anything it shifts quite a lot but we had a reservation for that i don't know 12 o'clock and they called us at like 10 didn't they yeah if you do book it early you've got to keep an eye on it you've got to be prepared that you might get called earlier than the estimated wait time but what we have also noticed is that the lightning lane is a lot faster than the virtual queue. We waited about 35 minutes in virtual and in lightning it was only like 10. 5-10. For the first time, that time was fun wasn't it? It was seeing all the screens. Queue, like. yeah. I'm still so obsessed with that ride. Absolutely love it. We got stuck in it for a bit and started. We did. So the launch, which I won't tell you about because you've not done it, but we got stuck at it and then it just randomly uh, went three minutes so later much, it just went yeah so much more intense yeah <laughs> it was good though anyway now it's time for space 220. so the restaurant is literally next door to mission space which is next door to guardians and there's a big sign there that says space 220 restaurant all right so we've checked in and i'm really excited about this yeah. we've got a whole experience yeah it's like an experience as well as a meal isn't yeah it? So let's go on in. Wow, it's quiet. They've given us a little boarding pass. We don't keep this, we give this to them so that they know orange is for the lounge, I believe. In we go. Oh. Welcome aboard the Stella cool, Fair. Isn't it? In just a few moments, you'll be on your way up to Space 220 aboard the Centauri Space Station. You're riding a board and on five Stella Fair. The latest if you look above, you'll see Centauri Space Station coming into view. Once we dock, gather your belongings and exit through the open airlock. This is a bit cool, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, wow. What is that all about? Oh, it's making me feel a bit um, trippy. <laughs> No. Well done. Are you here? Thank you. This is so cool. And I know what my friends mean now because the lounge is literally right next to the restaurant. It doesn't feel separate at all. So I already looked at the menu because obviously it wasn't going to bring us somewhere that I didn't think there'd be things we'd like. And I think, well, I'll let Ben obviously pick what he wants, but I'll we'll just check in case anything's changed since I last looked. But. They have got quite a good menu, let me show you. So we want the lounge menu because we're not in the main restaurant. And they have flight bites. So I'm thinking chicken and waffle or the sliders or both and we share them. I think they're the ones that Benji will most likely like. I think I would quite like a shrimp cocktail as well. But I'm just not feeling that after I had salmon this morning. So yeah, I think it's going to be the ribs or the waffles or both. And then I'll ask if he wants any drink, but I'm thinking maybe the lemonade with vodka in it that sounds fantastic so the server just told us that we can do the prefix menu in the lounge so i don't know why 
like it's easier to get a reservation for lounge. Is it? Is it bigger and better in the restaurant? Maybe it's, it's there, babe. Oh, down literally down there. <laughs> yeah. What? I don't know. I don't understand. Like that's the restaurant down there. No, sure. It is. This is it. This is the whole place. We have just gone for the flight bikes because we had a big breakfast this morning. We didn't want to do a big expensive lunch. We're just going to share. Thank you so Thank you. much. Welcome. <laughs> Look at the plates. Details like this are really cool. Astronaut, two astronauts. Oh. They have little astronauts floating randomly around the room. Oh, off he goes. So we've got strawberry vodka lemonades. With biodegradable straws. They, yeah, they're biodegradable. She just told us they're not plastic, so. Cheers. Cheers, mother. Yay. Let me know what it's like. Well, it's really good. Oh, it's strong. I was Ooh. gonna say you can't taste the booze, it tastes just like strong lemonade. Oh my god, no, it's strong, Ben. <laughs> right, we've got our sliders first. So we get one each. Can take yours? And the chicken and waffles has just arrived. The coleslaw, that looks good. Mickey orders his now a couple of cocktails, isn't he? <laughs> you orders his extra cocktails. We all pay for these. <laughs> I want this whole trip, Mickey was just paying for it. Like, oh, it's on me. <laughs> on the magic it's band. It's a Mickey band. <laughs> is this not Mickey's credit card? No, it's not. Oh, it's flashing. Look. <laughs> He's heard me. It started like, blushing. Oh, God, I got you, Ben. <laughs> oh, sorry, I up ben. <laughs> We're just watching all the different things around the room. Sorry, around space, outside. Space, 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 sorry, space, sorry. Space, space, space. Food verdict. Food was good. Very good. Like really good. Nine, I'd say. The whole A e nine? The whole experience. Nine. Yeah. Food was good. Cocktails were really good. Cocktails were great. You haven't even started your next one. You're getting there. <laughs> we just need you to know that two of the lemonades was Just a little bit giggling. I said we should go and get margaritas in Mexico. The broken things is a bad idea. After <laughs> Hang on, see it. Oh, sorry, yeah, we've enjoyed space, thank you. We are just walking under the ball. It's so beautiful. Glorious weather today, too. <laughs> Glorious weather today, too. It is glorious. Are you and Mary Poppins? <laughs> it's right underneath us here. Yay! The yeah, football's right underneath us, is it? It is, yeah, look. I think we're underneath. Oh, it. yeah, sorry, yeah. <laughs> That's what I meant. There's a photo pass photographer right there. Let's go I get her. They've got more chance of getting a good photo of us at the moment than we do. We do, yeah. Oh, look at these flags. They're nice, aren't they? <laughs> That's nice. Oh, so lovely. We've done our photos with the sun shining. The Epcot ball looking beautiful. And now... We always trade photos of people. Oh yeah, we always trade. We always offer to take photos for people and then they always offer back, which is always nice. <gasps> Goofy! There's no one in the queue! Run, Rocket, run! Look at him just chilling over there. I didn't know he's there. I love meeting Goofy. <laughs> Oh, that was great. The line was like a minute long. Minnie's got always, a longer line. It's always the random ones at the best ones, aren't they? Yeah, always good. Good spot, babe, good spot. We're going to pop into the shop that's underneath Spaceship Earth. Oh, that breeze. Oh, I'm not mad at it. I, Goofy's the only character I can meet, really, that I don't have to duck down. Bend down, down yeah. I love meeting Goofy. It always makes good photos. Yeah. So there used to be a pin shop. I think it's this one here, pin trainers. So yesterday we found the 100th anniversary pins. We've just found some more. Mickey, Mickey Minnie, Donald Daisy and Chip, Chip and Dale. Dale. And today we've got Tink and Goofy and Pluto. They are good finds. We, we picked them up for Gary as well, didn't we? Yeah, good spots. Yes! What a win. Oh my God, that's so cute. Pooh, hi, Merry Christmas. I love your Santa hat. <laughs> <laughs> we're inside the land where they have garden grill which is another character meal we're going to soaring which is downstairs soaring around the world oh i'm so excited for this forgot how much i like soaring actually i remember when i did this in california on my own for the first time and i didn't know what it was the soaring was great i forgot how good the smells are it's the grass and the beach yeah oh the beach one i was like give it to me 
if they sold that, as a room spray. Anyway, we're going to start the cookie stroll now, which is part of Festival of the Holidays. You collect five stamps. If you buy five out of eight of the cookies, and then you get a special pin. So we're going to do that. So you get a pin, so of course we're going to be doing that. Yes. And cookies. And cookies. Obviously. Obviously. Benji treated us to the first cookie. It's from Sunshine Seasons, and it's the Jingle Sugar Cookie. And it's literally just the M&M's cookie. This one's got more M&M's. But this one's bigger. What would you like? What do you like? I love the more M&M's. Okay. It's quite basic. You like them? Mm. <laughs> right, next cookie. They match. Sugar cookie one. And I got myself a sugar cookie latte as well. Figured that I need that sweet, sweet coffee. <sighs> is that my bit, is it? That's my bit. Thank you so much. Oh, where's it? No, wait, wait. Not yet. I think Right, we're getting on the little boat. I honestly don't even know where it goes. I just wanted to sit down. <laughs> I'm still drinking my coffee. This is nice. We had to walk this way anyway. Well, that was a bit nice. We just took the boat over from Port of Entry, the shop that I love, in the middle. And it's taken us across the other side without having to walk through all the crowds. If you have some leisurely time, that's a nice thing to do. So on to the next cookie in our cookie stroll. And this one is a black and white cookie, I believe. It looks like this. And I did bring some sandwich bags with us in case we didn't want to eat any more cookies. But that's what happens when you buy one. They do a little stamp. And yeah, we're just going to keep going and chilling as we eat them. This is the next cookie. Cookie number three. Which half do you want? <laughs> <laughs> you can cut it that way. I hope this tastes nice. It's one of those ones that I'm not sure. It's really bland. Bland? Oh, that's... It's almost like savoury. Really? Alright, let me try some. Yeah. I like... don't hate it. It's like you eat and you eat and you eat and yet it's still there. It gets all stuck in your teeth. Don't like that. Don't like that? We've come over to the Canada Pavilion because there's going to be a band on the stage in five minutes, so we thought, sure. We will present the Canadian Holiday Voyagers here at the Mill Stage. We've popped into the Canadian shop because they have loads of cute bits. They've got so many nice bits of like clothing in all these stores. It's not just like theme park merch, you know? Like they've got some actually really nice pieces. We need to go to Canada. Canada, yes, we do need to go to Canada really bad. I really, really want to go. At the back of the Canadian pavilion, they have a little show and they also have a waterfall and it's so pretty. And as we're in Canada, we ate at Le Cellier in 2018, which is their restaurant really down there. One, it was incredible. Yeah. The cheddar cheese soup yeah. and the is steak. It cheddar cheese, French onion soup, or is it just cheddar no, cheese? No, it was cheddar cheese soup. It was incredible. And the steaks is a steakhouse. It was one of the best meals I've ever had in my life. It was amazing. It was really good. I love this pavilion. Candlelight processional is on, but I'm just going to queue for our fourth cookie here at American Holiday Table. What a lovely atmosphere. We're not gonna have much dinner tonight, but I just saw this at the American Pavilion as I was getting the cookie. And it's just turkey and gravy and mash, cranberry and some veg. So that we could have this as a little bit of savory and then our cookie, obviously. Yeah, that was really good. You can't really go wrong with gravy, mash, potato. There was some stuffing under there, cranberry sauce, lovely. And how was the cookie? Really good. I think you'll like that. I think that'll be your favourite one. Okay, I'm gonna try it. Mm. So we're just in the American Pavilion oh, in the yeah. art shop. Oh, he's found something. Yes. Yeah, so we love Thomas so Kincaid. No, we don't. No, it's in the puzzle. Sorry. Oh, that sorry, one. the puzzles. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> sorry. That we one, do. That one. We do. Yeah. That one. Slightly different. And though. that. And that one. I think. And that one, in puzzle yes. form. Yeah. They have so many lovely pieces in here. Such a nice place to like stroll and appreciate the 
gorgeous pieces. I love it all. Oh my gosh, it's stunning. Oh look, here's some puzzles. I've got this in a postcard and a notebook. Oh, Benj. Oh, that was so nice. Last night? Yeah. Night before, wasn't it? You have to come into the Germany Pavilion Werther's store just to smell it. It smells incredible. And they also have lots of lovely um, Christmas decorations around here. These are all very traditional. They're nice size. And they're light, yeah. I knew you were going to say that. No way. Just how much that is? $17.99. No, $38. What? Why? That's surely not right. They're all there, so they all say. Oh my, are they a special designer or something? Oh my god. Let's leave. If she was to fly to Germany and pick one up there. <laughs> it is getting quite late and we've just been called for virtual queue on Guardians. So it is, what time is it? 20 past six. So we're getting our final cookie from here and then we would have completed the cookie trail. So the plan of action is final cookie, Guardians, maybe test track. Test track. See if I can win again. I won last time, didn't I? I put first cookie time, get the pin. The pin and the extra cookie. You get a cookie as well. Oh, I don't want another cookie again in my life. <laughs> Make your very own Disney lip balm six pack. That's the closest we're ever going to get to a six pack. <laughs> <laughs> this is cute. Basin, I've got like a little mini pop up right opposite Germany. We've got our final cookie. Ah. <laughs> Why don't we put it in an Ikea bag and we'll eat it no, tomorrow? I'm, I'm gonna eat it. You don't have to eat it. No, I will. You watch Okay. Here's our last one. There were eight to choose from, so there's our number five. And now we can finish this trail. <laughs> it's nice. It's like a, yeah, it's like a jam tart. It's got like a jammy centre. It's good. So not only can you get water from loads of water fountains, they've got loads of water fountains around the park. But also, pretty much anywhere that serves drinks, you can ask for a cup of ice water, completely free. And we've been putting it in our water bottle. It gives like a stainless, like thermos cup style bottle. We bought it in Target, yeah. But it's like similar to like a Chili's bottle that people might have at home. Yeah. It stays so cold throughout the day. It's so nice on your throat, especially when it's hot. Yeah. So, um, and after yeah. a dry cookie. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. The mouse likes to charge for a lot of things, but that is one good thing they do for free, isn't it? Free water. Yeah. Ice water too. Mm -hmm. And just like that, we finally completed it. We got an extra cookie and the Guardians of the Galaxy holiday special pin badge. Ta da! Look at that monorail and the ball. And we're on our way to do Guardians. The Epcot ball looks amazing. I love it, it's iconic. Yeah, it's changing. You can't really see on camera. It's currently like, see if I can try and focus on it. All different colours right now, like yellow and blue and pink. So we've just joined the virtual queue at 6.56. And this is the queue. I reckon this will take about 40 minutes, maybe. It's quite big. It is moving though, as you can see. Just in case you're interested, it is 20 to 8. So that took 45 minutes. And we are at the loading bit now. So yeah, the virtual queue, you still have to queue, basically. So for our final run on Guardians, we closed our eyes. We were actually the front row, yeah. which was really cool. Yeah, the wind and that, didn't you? Yeah, it was really cool on the launch at the beginning. Yeah. But then the rest of the time we closed our eyes and I just love the sensation, the feeling. Definitely don't close your eyes on the first time. No. If you want to see all the, the theming. It's oh no, we only, we only do it yeah. when we've, we've done the ride. Like but It was definitely a lot more intense, wasn't it? Because you didn't know which way you were going. Yeah. yeah. I feel like your body kind of braces you for it when yeah. you go. Know. Whereas when you don't, you go, Oi. Yeah, it was such a good feeling. Oh, look at the other couple. Um, so for our final ride of the day, we're doing test track. And then we'll go and find our spot for Harmonious. Hopefully near the skyliner. Yes, we want to be near the Skyliner because we want to be able to whip out. We've seen some pictures of some massive queues, haven't we? We've been quite lucky so far. We have, but, but we are expecting it to be busy tonight. Right, he's designing our car. And this is a good day for Bench. <laughs> so for serious about it. Okay, right, now you tap your... Get ready to test your design. 15 seconds. 
Oh, oh wow, look at that next to us. It looks so different. <laughs> oh my god, they look so different. <laughs> I'm just waiting for Benj in the bathroom and I'm just having one of those moments where I'm just listening to the music, the park is getting a bit quieter, I'm thinking and reflecting on the day and the week and how we're coming right to the end now. Tomorrow's our last full day and then we go home on Friday so it's Wednesday today yeah and it's been amazing and I do kind of feel ready to come home like I'm content. I, I always feel really sad when I leave, like I'm not ready to return to reality. If you've done a Disney holiday, you'll know that you're just so engrossed in the Disney bubble and the magic and the adrenaline and like, it's almost like you're only in this world, like literally Disney world. Um, but it's been amazing. I've loved every minute. We found a little spot and then she went and got me a little treat. It's a little um, peppermint. Little peppermint chocolate treat. Ooh. Oh, yeah, that's that just hits that. Does. So, this is where we've chosen to watch Harmonious. We are on the rope where the wheelchair viewing is, and this is our view. So, we can see everything there. And we are actually right next to the UK pavilion, the two finger Disney point. Here you go. Um, so, that's UK. We're obviously going to get the Skyliner out there UK pavilion we've got some fire right here and a nice perfect shot so and most importantly two minute walk to the skyliner we want to be close to the skyliner and have a good view and this is Benji's first time watching it, it I watched the previous what was the previous one called don't know rubbish rubbish <laughs> That. made me cry <laughs> it was so good i think it's beautiful i think how they've done it is so so good i think they should like put little lights on the pavilions that the movie's from i think that'd be really nice wouldn't it put a spotlight on that really nice as it is but i'm just it's nice isn't it i guess not all the films they represent have a pavilion no, so you don't have to show them you don't have to light up if yeah not but we are heading back. We'll chat to you again when we get back to the room, but we're trying to get the Skyliner, so 9.57, let's see how long it takes. 
I just had to tell you a quick story. At the end of our Disneyland Paris vlogs, vlog three, at the very end when we were leaving, we had a lovely viewer say, hi, I love your vlogs, and just walk straight past us. And I kept it in the vlog. Anyway, the same guy, the same guy was standing in front of us in the queue. Recognised our voices at, and then, no way. <laughs> at the Skyliner at Epcot. And he was like, hi, he introduced himself, we chatted away. So we spent 20, about 15 minutes on the skyline yeah. with him. Joe, the absolute nicest guy. Yeah. Really, oh. really lovely, wasn't he? Yeah, he was so lovely. I forgot his name already, he did tell us. You'll have to comment, please let us know. Or drop us a message. Yeah, I want to call him, no, I'm going to get it wrong. I'm, I've had a, met a lot of people today, and then we also met some really lovely girls who were also English, um, that are just starting on the CRP, which is the Cultural Representative Programme where they work in the Rose and Crown in Epcot and they've got a year long contract and they've just come out here. So we first were just- weekend, didn't it? Yeah, <laughs> it's their first day in the parks and um, that was really sweet. So it was nice to chat to them too. I find that the Skyliner trips, we always talk to people. Yeah. We always chat away. Sometimes it's our accent that people ask like, where are you from? And then we tell them, chat away. But it's been lovely. I love the Skyliner. Also, I forgot to say 20 past 10. So we did that in 20-ish minutes. Crazy. That was, that an was, so that was a good. worldy of a spot to watch the fireworks. Fireworks spot was good, although I did have a bit of a tree, so I'm really sorry about but that, hopefully. No, no one else is gonna be vlogging and needing, yeah, I could still see everything. Yeah, oh, so could I. I just wasn't just sure the, if I ruined vlog, it for the yeah. vlog. Sorry about the tree, hope you didn't mind. It's been a really great day. Yeah. Really, really good. I've had so much fun. I love Epcot, so we've done our final goodbye. We did our Epcot. cookies. Did the cookies. Did the fireworks. Guardians. Said goodbye to Guardians. Yeah. The only thing we didn't really do is we didn't get margaritas in Mexico, but after our strawberry lemonade, we did definitely did not eat margaritas. Had a bit of a whizzy no. period in there, in there for an hour, didn't we, Brogan? I was a bit merry. Living your best life, don't mind it whatsoever. I was merry. I was merry. Yeah, it was funny. It was a great day around. Tomorrow's our last full day and will be your last the last vlog. We're gonna blend our last full day with our travel home day. If you're not subscribed yet already and you watch this far, please doing? subscribe. subscribe. <laughs> and we'll see you again in our last Disney vlog. Don't say that, it's not happening. It's We're staying happening. here forever. No, I'm ready to come no, home. I'm ready to go home. <laughs> it's been but good. In like a nice way. way, yeah, yeah. yeah. My feet are starting to hurt. I'm ready for a shower. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again in the next one. Bye. Love you, bye.